A 98-year-old British woman has been awarded France's highest honour for her top-secret wartime work. Betty Webb was stationed at Bletchley Park during the Second World War. Decrypting enemy messages, she's now received the Légion d'honneur for her services, as Joan Whittle reports. Well, I'd never heard of Bletchley, and I certainly didn't know what went on there. It was a complete surprise to me. Bletchley Park, secret home of the World War II codebreakers, was where Betty Webb went, aged 18. Her mother had taught her to speak German as a child. When she joined up in wartime, it was to become a valuable skill. I was uh, taken into the mansion uh, to read the Official Secrets Act, which, as you can imagine, is a fairly formidable document. And I realised that from then on, there was no way that I was going to be able to tell even my parents where I was and what I was doing until 1975. In fact, she was playing a critical role in intercepting and deciphering enemy messages. And now she's been given France's highest accolade, the Légion d'honneur, for her work. Describe the atmosphere between you and your colleagues at Bletchley Park. I remember it being very friendly. We, we were all doing a job which we knew had to be done, but we were all very much in the dark, bearing in mind that we'd signed the Official Secrets Act and we were not to talk about anything outside our own room. It was that strict. Betty's since written memoirs and received an MBE. When she lodged with a family near Bletchley Park, her lips remained sealed. I'd just say, well, it was just a boring secretarial job. That was my answer, and I believe a lot of people have adopted that attitude. Later, she crossed the Atlantic to serve at the Pentagon. Working was wonderful. I was one of uh, 32,000 people in the Pentagon, and uh, it was, the working conditions were very modern and very pleasant. And in the main, I got on very well with the Americans. Post-war, she became a school secretary at Ludlow in Shropshire for a boss who knew not to ask questions. The head happened to be an ex Bletchley man himself, so he didn't ask me any awkward questions, <laughs> which was a godsend because a lot of prospective employers couldn't understand why I couldn't tell them what I'd been doing. In case you're wondering, Betty's 98. Her recollections raise a sharp, her conversation compelling. Joanne Rittle, BBC News. Now, what a impressive. fantastic story. Betty, 98 years old, with those reminiscences and that award so richly deserved. Fantastic. Impressive, impressive woman, isn't really? she? Really? Really impressive.